people of the internet. I'm Jusha, also known as Josh. Welcome back to Skyrim. We're back in Whiterun, or we're still in Whiterun, I guess. And uh, we're just about to head off to Bleakfall's Barrow to do as this guy, Faringar, told us to go collect this Dragonstone thing. So, we're gonna do that in this episode. Off we go. Open to White Run. The companions trace their legacy back to the original 500 companions of East Grimoire, who led the first humans to Skyrim and eventually settled all of Tamriel. What a badass. He's not really holding onto that axe very well, is he? I mean, it looks alright there, but if you look, look around the side, look, he's just not holding onto it at all. It's just fallen out of his hands. Right, anyway. Good old white run. What is it, Kaji? What Nothing. is it? Nothing. How beautiful it looks at night. Oh, that sky. Looks so nice. It's such a beautiful game. Right. We are going to Bleak Falls Barrow. If we head out these gates, is kind of to our left and up the mountain. Yes, House Corp. We leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. We don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye. Right. Let's do this. Gonna head to Bleak Falls Barrow. The Plains District of White Run is home to the city's shops and markets, while the Wind District is mostly residential. The Isles Palace, Dragon's Reach, domin dominates the Cloud Del District. The School of Alter Alteration focuses on the manipulation of the physical world and is used to cast spells like Water Breathing, Magical Armor, and Mage Light. But you didn't know that. You probably did. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's head off in this direction Whoa. and we're gonna head up this mountain I guess oh there it is that's Bleak Fool's Barrow that place over there oh hey caravan do you seek to make a purchase I admit the dragon I'll see what have you got for sale hmm? take a look I have some good stuff I don't have much gold so let's see if I can sell anything onto me can I sell that? Wait, is he selling leather? Because if I can buy leather, I'm guessing he's not selling leather. Yeah, that's annoying. All right, what can I sell? What kind of stuff can I sell? I can sell fur armor, right? I'm not really going to use them. I'm going to keep those just in case. Um, I've just one tunic. Not gonna need that. Steam mace. Never really gonna use that. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can buy anything. Anything of any worth. Probably won't be able to. Yeah. Like a prices of the stuff. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to buy anything. Ah well. May your road lead you to warm sands. Thank you. I, I want to go go to warm sands. The war. See you guys. Oh, no open up skills menu to level up. I can level up. When did that happen? Oh, well, I still was enchanting last episode. Right, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, let's increase the health. It's probably the best thing to increase. Right, and this is the level up screen because I haven't shown you yet. Uh, here we have the mage. This. This weird uh, blue thing is the mage. 
This one is for the warrior. You can see the axe. And this one here is for the thief. So this is... These are all the ones uh, that we get increased leveling up on because we uh, chose to use the thief stone in the first episode. So with these these skills here that go from, I believe, archery round to alchemy. I think it might not include archery. It might just go to light armor. But anyway. Um, I think the best ones to go with at the beginning is probably Sneak. So I'm just going to level up that. Sneak, so you are 20% harder to detect while sneaking. Nice. And what makes you think that? What? Right. So we're just going to head up the side of the mountain up over there and hopefully get to Bleak Falls Barrow. Let's go. I have a feeling this is going to be a long walk, or run, or whatever. All right. Let's just follow the paths. I think it might be easier following the paths. All right. I say I'm going to follow the paths, and then I don't follow paths. It's clever of me, isn't it? Alright, can I get up here? Nope. There we go. That's a well-known uh, way to get around in Skyrim, is just, just get up to the point where you can't run up anymore, and just spam space. You'll be able to get up, like, certain gradients of the slope. You won't be able to get ev up everything, but you'll get up, be able to get up most slopes uh, if it's at a certain angle where you... Yeah. But it appears that I can't really get up this part very easily. Let's keep trying. Really, I only need to just get to about here, and then I can just... Go around. Always bend your knees uh, when you're landing. So, uh, otherwise, you might hurt your spine and your knees, I guess. Right. Uh, keep keep going up. Can I keep going up? Oh, bit of snow. I'm such a good rock climber. People don't 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 normally hear that about Kashyyyks, you know, being good rock climbers. But boy, are we amazing at rock climbing. Look at this. It's like how uh, like domesticated cats are good, to, good at climbing trees. They're great at climbing mountains. It's because us, us Khajiit. Yeah, that's how you speak. All right, can I just run around the side here? Yeah, I should be right now. This snow, wow. That is pretty. Heavy snow there. Right, here we go. Here we are. Bleak Falls Barrow. Right next to it. This armor is so loud. Just constant metal chattering. I guess that's what you'd call it. Ugh. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> that is extremely extremely thick snow. Right, I'm gonna open up this this uh, this menu here. I'm gonna get a bow out. Look at how big the bow is. Oh uh, yeah. Love big bows. I love big bows and I cannot lie. Yeah, that definitely works as a song. I'm just gonna create that, that song. I, I'm not. It'd be a terrible song. I wouldn't be able to think of any other lyrics. Uh, oh. Do, huh? you gonna do? 
Where are you? I was like, ah, you're there. Uh, right. Let's go back to the Iron Sword and... Uh... Flames. Right, yeah. Nope, such as body. Gold. Nice. Right. I can't jump up from here. Right. Oh, this must be freezing. This this snow. Wow, it's extremely impressive. Right. Someone there. Check for gold. Right. Oh, hunting bow, nice. Lockpick, awesome. Oh, where are you? Where are they? They're up there. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Gold. I just took an extra hunting bow. Let's give give her it back. You know, she might want it. Alright. And in we go to Bleak Falls Temple. Alright. So I'm gonna sneak here, get out this new hunting bow that I got. Alright. <laughs> Can I not hit them? Seriously. There we go. That was easy. It wasn't amazingly easy because I couldn't hit them for most of it, but... I still managed to kill them. Without having to worry too much. Uh, heavy painted round shield. Don't really want it. Um, right. Where's the other one? Yeah. Right. Okay. Is that moving? Okay, I didn't have to actually do anything there. Right. Nice, that was pretty substantial amount of gold. I'm sure there used to be a, a coin purse somewhere around here. I might be wrong. I thought there was. It may not be. Eh, maybe not. Alright, let's keep heading through this, this place then. Remember to uh, check in uh, urns if they're not empty because they're probably gonna have gold in if they aren't empty uh, that way up is uh, dead end let's go this way I'm not collecting skeever tails because I don't really find much point in collecting them right I'm gonna take that that and then you can't look inside that one's empty right okay So this guy basically, he's going to pull that lever, I bet, I bet that's what he's going to do. But I don't want him to pull that lever, I want to kill him myself, because uh, basically that's, that lever's a trap if you've got uh, the setup for the thing wrong, and he currently does. I would show you what that's like, but I really really want the experience of uh, killing him myself, and I accidentally pressed the... 
I accidentally pressed the key to open up the console, so I apologise for that. I'll take a torch. Might need it later on. Oh, was that a steel sword? Yeah, I'll take that as well. That might be useful later on. So basically what you can see is there's like a head here, a head here, and then this one's fallen on the ground here, and you've got to match these up to that, and then pull the lever, and then that opens. But if the, um, uh, these are wrong to what this is, then you get killed, basically. So let's align this. So this has to be snake. This center one, you can see it's not there anymore. It's down here. That's also snake. And that last one is dolphin. And there we go. Let's pull the lever. All those enemies. Um, all right. <laughs> It's good to read anything that kind of looks like it's gonna give you any experience. Um, right, let's. No, that, that one. Let's go back into the level up screen. Add more to the health. Uh, let's go with light armor. That's gonna be helpful later on with defending ourselves. I'm gonna pull this down so no one tries and attacks us later. Even though I don't remember anything like that ever happening, but you know, it could be useful. Right. Okay, let's keep going. There's um, paper and poison there, I guess. Let's take that. We might be able to plant it on someone and then kill them. Uh, what? Hi King? Did you say hi, hi King? You need help. Alright. Oh, god. That is a spider. Uh, as far as I'm aware, actually no, spiders don't like water. I don't I don't know how they feel towards fire. It doesn't look like it's really doing a huge amount. But, oh gosh. Oh I've been poisoned. That's not good. Oh. Oh gosh, my health. Ah! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah! And only frostbite venom. There you go. Oh, wow. That is. That is a drop. Why? Because you're blocking the way. Stop saying it. You! You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Why would I do that? Where's it yes, going to go? the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. As do I. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Um, hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Err. Uh, I really don't like this guy. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Nah, I'm just gonna kill him. I don't trust him. He runs away if you don't kill him. Go and claw, take his journal. Yeah. Bear lands. That one's got stuff in it. Gold. Take the soul gems. They're going to be useful for enchanting later on. There's some gold in here. That's empty. Oh, I'm gonna get the bow out here because Draugr could be around. Draugr being basically zombies. I'm gonna sneak because they're easier. Ooh. Is that one? No, that one's already dead. Alright, I know that this one over here I should be able to kill. Yeah, we go. There are ways to tell if ones are actually still 
like what ones are going to wake up. Um, and the way to do that is by looking at their armor. Um, if they're wearing helmets, normally it means that they're going to wake up. Or if they're just wearing any armor at all. Like, I think that one wakes up. Yeah. I don't think Draugr are uh, any good against fire, so... That's what I mean. Uh, yeah. Basically. I just noticed that uh, Michael is now playing Skyrim as well, so... That is a pressure plate. You need to be careful around those things, because that swing and kill you. I mean, there is this gap that I could have walked through, but you know. Right, let's go back into Sneak and get the bow back out. I know I could be using favorites, but I really can't be bothered to do that right now. Why? Why would I do that? Oh, he's a wrestler struggle. He's going to take a lot longer to kill. And he has magic. That's not good. That's not good. Alright, hopefully I can get him to walk on that. There we go. Oh, it missed him. Right. Let's see if I can counteract him with some fire. Yeah, I think that was good enough for me. I hate the fact that you can't actually see what happens. Maybe I need a certain mod to see the uh, decapitation of those guys. Or, or maybe it's a uh, achieve, not achievement, um, a skill. It might be, it might be a skill. I'm not sure. Um. Oh dang! Oh! Oh yeah, this is what female drawers look like. They don't wear the armor, but they have weapons and stuff. Look for weapons. That's that's a thing to look for. There's one behind me. Great. Uh, health is low. Okay. Run, 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 Right. Hopefully I can just get some potions. Right, and come on. No, why don't I don't get hit by that? Okay, that's fine. How much why can't I? Stupid arrow. Alright. Oh. Oh, wow. Damage nine. What does my current bow do? Eight. Oh. This bow might be rather good to have then. Let's just change to it. Ancient Nord bow. It's nice looking, but oh gosh. Guess I have to go through here then. Ready? Three, two, one. Pull that lever. Stop it. Right. These ones, it's only the ones on the bottom row if any of these are to wake up. Or ones that stand in those things there. I believe that's a thing. Yeah. There we go. I still aim for headshots, even though I don't know if uh, headshots actually work in this game. Right. So much leveling up in this, in this episode. This is pretty, pretty good. Alright, watch this.
You right, mate? How you doing? There's another one coming. Where is he? There he is. Come on, buddy. Come on, mate. <laughs> There we go. He has a beard. Nice beard. How, how have you kept that? Like, as long as you've been dead. Just getting a bit of light in here. See what's going on. Alright, let's go up here. Bit of a corridor. Alright. Oh. This place is going to have some draw up. Look, they're gonna kick down those. Right, let's go. Oh yeah! Can't handle it. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. There shouldn't be Draugr in this area. This isn't like one of the places they would be. Alright, let's just cross the other side of the river and get this chest. Actually, there probably are Draugr when we go around this part. I'm just gonna go around and down here rather than out at the top. Just make it slightly easier. Oh, I'm sure there's. Ah, there we go. There he is. She is. Sorry, don't want to be sexist. Have fun. Have my strip. Uh, are you meant to head down to the bottom? Can't remember. Uh, probably not. Oh gosh. Oh, where's the body? There we go. Yeah, no, you're not meant to travel down to the bottom. Oh right, there's a chest though. Uh, let's see, chances are that it's here. There are three main points for lockpicking, and once you know where they are, you can kind of unlock anything if you have at least five lockpicks, I'd say. The three places are like dead in the center, um, to almost far left and almost far right. Those are pretty much the th only three places that ever are used in the Skyrim lock, like Skyrim lock picking system, makes it pretty easy to learn how to be good at lock picking. I guess it's still kind of useful to get really good at the lock picking though, um, and getting all of the um, getting all of the um, skill, I guess, uh, perks. Uh, it's kind of it's useful to get those because um, uh, I'll show you. That they normally have it either there, there, or there. Just put it on point. Um, yeah, it's useful to get all the perks. It just makes the time that you spend lock picking a lot, a lot faster. Here we go. Another loading screen. We're on our way to Bleak Falls Sanctum. Sounds like a very fun-looking place. And I need to level up, don't I? There we go. -da. Health. Okay. Right. Now I'm level four. Okay. Where are we looking? Let's go archery this time. Because once you get good stuff with archery, you can go to uh, Eagle Eye, which slows stuff down and zooms in. Oh, no. That zooms it in. This slows it down. Yeah. Uh, crit shot, kind of what it says. Hunter's discipline. Uh, yeah, these these are really good things to have. Uh, the next thing that like applies to bows, that I'd, I'd want the um, the one that zooms in and the one that slows it down. But the next thing that applies to bows that is a really good one to get is this one, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, sneak attacks, one hand. 
I uh, I do have a mod that makes kind of like sneaking stuff a lot more lifelike and stuff. So you can just go up behind someone if you're sneaking and have a dagger in your hand, you can slit the throat, that kind of stuff. I have a mod that allows you to do that. Uh, I might show that off at some point, but at the moment I'm not really going to. Because uh, I don't really think there's anyone that I want to slit the throat of. Um, but you know. Alright, we've got another one of these, ready? Three. Two. One. Alright, we're here. That guy is gonna come up. Alright, let's kill him. This might be. Right. Now wait for this guy to come down. Let's just search this body. Alright, he's got a bow, so let's try and evade. Evade his shots. And now. He's gonna burn there. Next guy's gonna run into it, and he's not gonna quite burn down, but we might have enough time just to do that. Alright. Alright, so let's take the loot off the. Oh, I already looted that guy. Uh, this guy. Nice. Alright. Let's just keep going. Yeah, you could have... I could light that up as well. I might just... Just get ahead of it. Those kind of errors if you're standing here. Kind of used as defensive spots. Oh. Oh, I'm on fire. That was brilliant. I'm such a clever person. Right, here we go. This is the, um, that corridor thing that that guy was on about. Yeah. Right, so, here we are. This is the door. Now, he said about the, the claw and the markings on it. Um, how do I do this? I just do that. Oh well, uh, but you can see it's a bear, a butterfly, and then a owl, an owl, I should say. So, this has got to be a bear, that has to be a butterfly, that has to be an owl. The bear, butterfly, owl. Activate keyhole. And they all change to owls. Slightly weird, but you know. And here we are. This is gonna lower slight like clipping as it goes down the ground. But you know. And here we are. This is the main main tomb. This guy over here is gonna pop out, isn't he? Oh no, there's no one there. I always thought that I might have been wrong. Anyway, oh, that reflection. Never realised that. Right. Anyway, those birds. Right. Let's just keep going over over here. What's that sound? I hear singing. What? What is this? Word of power learned. Force. Unrelenting force. Oh yeah. Find the owner of the golden claw. Alright, what's this though? Oh god. Draw overlord.
The Dragonstone. Oh yeah, that's what we came for. That is what we came for. Now we've got it. We can take that back to Varangar. But I think I shall do that in the next episode. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Like it if you liked it. If you didn't like it, well, then leave a dislike. But remember to leave some comments and tell me why you didn't like it. So I can help improve the channel. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, just stay tuned for next time. Okay, guys. See ya. Bye.